If you want to compete in a world full of Android-based MP3 players, you really have to be something special. Introducing the DioFox M8. Normally, I don't care about the hardware or the operating system unless they make it my problem. So let me tell you about the hardware of the operating system. The M8 is running Android 9, which was discontinued in 2021, on a CPU that was announced in 2016. The M8 does allow you to load new applications from the Play Store, and that is potentially a problem given the age of the operating system and CPU. You might say, I don't plan to load anything new, and that would be a good strategy, except that it doesn't load all of the applications that comes bundled with that well. I'm not saying it's a completely bad experience, but if you want to use YouTube Music or Pandora, I couldn't get those to work. I actually subscribe to Amazon Music, and that does work well for downloaded tracks, but there are too many buffering issues on this device for streaming. When it comes to MP3 players, I just prefer to have my music stored locally anyway. And that's easy enough with the M8. You simply insert the USB-C cable and attach it to your computer where it appears as an external drive. Then you just drag and drop your songs. The application they use to play your local music is hi -Bi, And that seems to work pretty well, except for the equalizer, which just makes everything garbage. If you prefer streaming apps, I found that Deezer, Tidal, Audible, and Spotify worked well. If you're one of those people that still listen to FM radio, the M8 works great for that. You do have to have wired headphones, though, because it uses the wire as an antenna. The M8 comes with a 2000 milliamp hour battery. If you run into problems with battery life, I suggest turning off notifications. And if you're not using wireless earbuds, you can turn off Bluetooth. And if you are only listening to local music, you can turn off Wi-Fi as well. And if you do all that, you should be getting about 35 hours of playback. I have a few closing thoughts on this. Number one, I was not able to use the fast charger. I had to switch to a low power charger and they say it will take two hours to fully charge the M8. Secondly, it ships with a screen protector and a set of wired earbuds that are total garbage. Do not even try them, throw them away immediately. And last, it comes with this nice case and it fits well and I have no complaints. Like I said, in a world full of Android-based media players, you really have to be special to stand out. And this one, you can do better. Three out of five.